Web Interpret, opening worldwide e-commerce. The new decade is full of new opportunities for e-commerce sellers. E-commerce market is growing fast and is about 17.5% of total retail sales globally. Cross-border trade is the fastest growing part of online e-commerce and that, for, that trend is forecast to continue. With 70% of online shoppers having bought from international sites, this is a very exciting trend. When people hear about Brexit, they can have a lot of fear about what might happen, but this is often exaggerated and misses the bigger picture. When you look at e-commerce, for instance, in the UK, we've seen a lot of growth over the past few years and that will continue. In fact, when you look at what happened after the referendum, we saw that uh, international sales from the UK increased as buyers looked at the product within the UK and saw it as more attractive and sales started to increase as the trend for e-commerce has been growing in the UK. Brexit has happened, but in reality, nothing's changed as of yet. And what will happen during the transition period up to the end of December is trade deals will be struck and agreements between different countries. And as that certainty comes into place, sellers will be able to then make informed decisions about where to invest, where to put their product, and what to do with their pricing to optimize the opportunity for them. In addition, sellers should be thinking about where they're putting their inventory and making sure they have enough inventory to manage any fluctuations that may happen depending on trade deals that are struck. So whether it's putting your warehouses near your customers or whether it's just having extra stock available to fulfill demand. Sellers must always focus on putting their products, the right products, in front of the right customers at the right time. And one of the things they need to really think about in this new decade is the balance between organic and paid search. In the previous decade, a lot of sales were generated from organic search, but paid search is becoming much more prevalent in this market. So another way for sellers to grow their international sales is to look at the markets they're selling into and try and identify where they can invest more in terms of whether it's advertising or just um, listing more product to really maximize their sales in those countries where the local demand may not be fulfilling the products that those sellers are offering. One of the key advantages for sellers selling internationally is when you sell in multiple markets, you generate multiple revenue. So the more countries you sell into, the more revenue you'll generate. Now, another good thing about that is that if you have a loss in revenue in any one country for any particular reason, e.g. Brexit might affect some sellers, then they have many other countries to rely on for their revenue growth and they can refocus their investment on those countries. We still see the EU as a strong market for sellers to grow their international sales for eBay and Amazon, even the UK after Brexit. But also from web interprets, we have some good markets that sellers should look at if they haven't already. So for example, the US and Canada are very strong markets, but also Australia and the Far East can be good as well. And they still see strong growth internationally and sellers should certainly look at those too. For more information and expert advice, please look at our blog and our YouTube channel.